my neighbors. <laughs> I already got my sneakers on. How are you today? You can participate. It's a lovely day. In the neighborhood. And in our church. Nice and warm in here, isn't it? Kind of cozy with a sweater. Who am I? Oh. Mr. Rogers was a gentle man. On a couple of occasions, I have seen him come before audiences and ask for some silence. To think about things that matter most to you. And I wonder if you do that with me this morning. When he accepted his Emmy for Lifetime Achievement, he looked out over a Hollywood audience and he said, would you take 10 seconds and think about all the people who helped you along the way? I'm going to ask you three questions this morning before I tell you about the Minute for Mission. I'll keep track of the time. What I ask of you is that you close your eyes during that 10 seconds and think about the answer to the questions. Here's the first question. Think about all the people who have helped you in your walk with Christ to bring you to this point, to this place, at this time. They could be pastors, family, friends, or a spouse. Start now. Here's the second question. I want you to think about all the gifts, all the joys, and all the things that God has done for you at this time and place in your life. And the third question, I want you to think for a moment whether or not you are giving back to God all that he cries out for us to give him of your body, mind, soul, and resources. Thank you. The minute for mission this morning is to tell you in gentle terms that we are behind on our budget, about 10%. What that means is that so far this year, six months in, 
we have given totally as a church family about $60,000. Excuse me, about $60,000. Our church budget is $130,000. We need to give everything that we have given thus far and more in order to make the budget. There are six months until the time when we close out the program year. We are striving forward to find a new permanent pastor. Permanent pastors will require our financial resources. If we're going to bring someone here, we have to look them in the eye and say we can afford to pay them and run the church. Giving back to God all he has given to you is a sign of your trust, your faith, and your obedience to him. And I ask you to consider whether you are doing that. If need be, there are some pledge cards on the back. There are some on the pews. You won't hear a lot of fanfare about money. But you need to ask yourself, am I answering the call of God? Thank you.